Hi folks and thanks for joining me. If you ever wanted to take your RF signal generator that does not have external modulation and be able to modulate a carrier, stay tuned and I'll show you how to build this simple amplitude modulator circuit that you can play oldies and or generate uh, test tones. Here's a look at the unmodulated RF carrier just north of 1 megahertz. And you can see the uh, modulated carrier here. Again, I'm just driving this with my uh, Bluetooth for this example. And uh, let me just kind of spread it out here so you can see the uh, amplitude modulation. So it uh, works uh, pretty well and adjustable by the uh, potentiometer. And a look at the breadboard layout here. A very simple, straightforward uh, circuit. I'll make the uh, schematic available for download as well. You can check out the video description, show more, to get a, a link there to the Google Drive. You can see uh, the input signal there, unmodulated RF carrier, comes in through um, C1. And I'll have some notes here at the bottom calling out uh, C1 and C2 to be changed out to uh, picofarad values depending on where this is actually inserted within the uh, circuit. R1 is used to uh, adjust the uh, depth of modulation as well as it influences the uh, RF carrier there as well. You can see diodes uh, D1 and D2. Uh, again, that's what allows us to uh, add the modulation back to the RF carrier. L1, I threw that in there. I'm actually leveraging the self-resonant frequency of the RF choke. In this case, I had a one millihenry choke. It actually measures uh, just under that. So uh, that cleans up the uh, sine wave, and you can see the uh, RF output at that point. The audio input directly from my Bluetooth device there through a 100 microfarad capacitor back over to uh, R1. So it's that simple. Thought I would share it with you guys. I appreciate you uh, watching. Hope everyone out there is uh, doing well. You take care.